Hey everyone, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove highlights from oily skin in Adobe Photoshop. So if you look here, here's the before and here's the after. You can see there that we've successfully removed them areas and still kept some of the highlights, which are naturally will hit things like the cheekbones and the ears and the tops of lips, anything that's close to the light. So you can see there that it is a very effective process and it's really simple to do. So I'm going to walk you through the steps. So I'm going to just get rid of this layer here. The first thing we want to do is come down to the bottom in our layers panel and just create a new blank layer. Then we want to come up to the blend mode and we want to select darken. Then we want to come over to our brush tool. So over here, select your brush tool, come to the top and you want to select in general brushes a soft round brush. Make sure the hardness is set to zero. Now the next thing is to change the opacity. So I would recommend anywhere below 50% is a good working area. With this particular image, I'm going to bring this down to around 40% just because it's not that severe. So once we've done that, we then need to hold the Alt or Option key down and we want to select a color that is close to our highlighted areas. So if you hold this Alt or Option key down and then click, you'll see that you get these different colors coming up. So what we don't want to do is select anywhere that's in the middle because you can see that that's too bright. And if we go too far up, then again, that won't match. So we have to get it on the border. So around there would be good. Now, if you make the brush bigger by pressing the bracket keys, you can cover a larger area and it will be slightly softer. So you can just paint in. So just go over it a couple of times. You don't need to go crazy. Let's just zoom in so we can see what we've done. I'm gonna make the brush a little bit smaller because I'm now gonna target the lip area here. So again, holding the Alt or Option key down, I'm gonna select and I'm gonna make that brush a little bit smaller and I'm just gonna paint over that highlight there once or twice. There we go. Okay, so if we move around, just hold the space bar down on your keyboard and you can move the image around. I'm gonna target the eye area up here. So again, holding Alt or Option key down, select, just make sure you get an area that is close to that highlight. So somewhere around there, that looks good. And then if we come back over to here, where the ear is, we've got a few different highlights. So I'm gonna to attempt to do one or two of them for you. So again, holding the Alt or Option key down, we wanna select an area that's close to that line of where the highlight is and then we're gonna paint in. Now the trick with this is to continuously select colors so that you're getting a close proximity match. If you don't, then it will look false. So let's just paint that area in there. Another selection there. Another selection there. That's it. And then another selection here. You can see we've got a different color there to here. And then I'm going to make another selection and then paint the underneath part here. Okay, so once you're happy and you've gone over the areas that you want to adjust, it's a good idea to come to the opacity and just play with this opacity. So I pull and push, you can see if I just center this a little bit more, you can see here that if I pull it all away and push it up, you can see there what, what we're getting. So 100% looks a little bit too false. So let's bring this down to, let's just try 60% opacity for now. Okay, next thing is we want to come down to the bottom again and we want to create another new blank layer. And this time we're going to change the blend mode from normal and we're going down to the bottom and we're going to select color. Keeping the same brush, the same settings, what we're going to do is come back to the areas that we've just painted in and we're going to hold the or Option key down again. And this time we're going to try and match the color from the surrounding areas to that point that we've just covered. So somewhere around there is good. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger and I'm just going to paint that area in. We go. Same with the lip, select an area, just bring that back in. And then let's come to the cheek here, select a color. So around there is pretty good. You can see there's the highlight, there's the color. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger, just so it's softer. I'm going to go over this a couple of times. And then same with the ear. So let's make the brush smaller, select the color that we want, and just paint over. So let's just do that quickly here. 
and then there was one down here as well. Okay, so once you've done that, again, the next thing is to come to the opacity and we want to pull and push this. So what you'll find is, is that it's quite difficult to notice this color sometimes, depending on the type of skin that you've got, depending on the makeup. But you can see, as I push that up, it's, it's darkening the area. And in fact, you can see that if I come really, really close, that it's almost taking some of that color away because of the color proximity match. So we want to bring this down to around 40%, I would say, for this particular image. So once you're happy with that, what I then tend to do is use the Shift key, click on the bottom layer, and then press Control or Command G just to group them together. You'll get this little folder here and them two layers will be in that folder. But what this enables us to do is then come to this opacity and now have full control over both. So we can push it all the way up and again, just bring this down because we are going to have highlights on them areas. We don't want to completely flatten them because that will not look natural. We're not trying to completely make the skin look completely smooth. We still want them highlights. So if you look, once you've done that, let's click on the eye and you can see the before and after. You can see it's very, very subtle, but it's a really neat way of just getting rid of them highlights. If you prefer to have your highlights a lot flatter, then obviously you can. You can see what we've done there. And if I come back to these other layers here and just increase them to 100%, you'll see what I mean when I push them all the way up and do the before and after. You can see it doesn't look as natural, does it? Because there's, there's too much going on there, especially with the color. So you can just bring the opacity of both down and do it that way as well, if you prefer. So I would look to target somewhere around there. I think that looks pretty natural. So if you look, there's the before and there's the after. So it's a real cool way of just getting rid of these highlights on the skin and making it look natural. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.